if you torture your data long enough it will confess to anything but the problem here is when it actually confesses we do not know how to present the data in a visual format here there's a tool the name of this tool is napkin.ai this tool has solved many problems of presentation and storytelling with the help of this napkin tool you can create your boring presentations into an interesting infographics and that too with button clicks let us understand about this napkin ai you can see when you log in first on the napkin.ai you can just click on this get napkin free currently napkin.ai is in the beta version which is free of cost so you can enjoy it with no charges no credit card once you sign up for this particular account then you can see the first user interface which will come here is napkin beta the version right now is 0.10.3 on the left hand side you can see there's a library and there's a new napkin button once you click on this new napkin you can just click on draft with ai now here this is a window where you can give a command what exactly you need to get it created here we can write something let's say the best practices for a hiring interview brand proposal for plant care company and so on let's pick up the first one the best practices for hiring interview and i can just click on continue once you click on continue within 60 seconds this will create an ai generated text which every tool the meta the google chat gpt and other tools once the textual content is created you can see there are 10 pointers which are created over here now if i present this to my manager to my team they may not like it because it's a simple boring text however if i want to create infographics from this particular boring textual data on the left hand side there's a button generate visuals once you click on this napkin.ai will pick up the right infographics which will be suitable for this particular text and you can see on the left hand side we have plenty of infographics which are freely available today and now whichever infographic or the visual presentation if you like it you can just select on that once you click on that you will get different options for choosing the color right now let's say we pick up the coloring option over here and then we can just click outside for this particular paragraph on the top it has created infographic at the bottom now if you want to create the same infographic with it napkin.ai you can still create but it will take more than 30 minutes for you a normal person let's see the second one if i click on the second part which is prepare thoroughly i can click on this generate visuals it will scan the text which is present over here and based on that it will create a best infographics which is available now you can choose which particular infographic suits for this particular requirement and let's say if I like this one, I can click and you can choose the color pattern which matches with your company brand and color. I can select this option over here. Now, once it is generated, you can see there are plenty of different icons, different texts which are available and the colors as well. You can keep on creating different kind of infographics for every text. However, if you want this both paragraphs should have one single text, you can select this text over here and this both paragraphs will be having just one visual. So we can click on generate visual and now at the bottom you can see one single infographic you will get plenty of choices by the way you can choose what infographic matches with what and then once you select this this infographic would be created not only this this particular infographic is in the editable format for example the text which you click over here you can change the font of that particular text you can select arial charm comforta and so on there are many many different fonts which are available you can make it as bold you can also increase the size based on large excel small extra small you can choose the color you can see you can pick up the right color which matches with the uh, particular icon on the left hand side and also you can give a shape to that particular text to make it more attractive and more uh, lucrative once you finish if you want you can move this particular text at any location on your screen so this is very simple and easy now if you think you want to download this text you can just click on this download you can download this as a png svg and a pdf document it's free of cost same way if you click on this option there are different type of icons which are selected over here for example if i select this particular icon one is i can choose the color from here these are different options which are present however if I click on this option, I can replace the icons with the help of this option here. You can see different icons can be replaced. So it's easy, simple and very fast and attractive at the same time. However, on the left hand side, if you think you still need to change the color, you can select the color palette and you can modify the color as per your wish. Again, if you see on the left hand side, there's an option given as open group, the right hand side part. You can select this group one by one and you can work, interact with them as per your choice. So this is very interesting. Similarly, if I go down on this place, if you think you do not like this particular icon, you can just shift it here, remove that part or 
if you want to change that particular icon, we have different options which can be selected over here. That's very simple and easy to prepare. Now, if you think a separate icon can be added over here at the bottom, if you see Sparks Search, which is given here, when you click on Spark Search, and here if I just type here, let's say a man, when you search for it, you can see there are different type of man icons which are given here. If you search for, let's say, women, and you can wait for a few seconds, and these are different icons for women which are given here. So if you see related to data, if I want to present the data, I search, I have different options, let's say data, analytics, graph scatter, copy, spreadsheet in text, and so on. So different type of icons can be created from this box. Suppose I select this particular icon, I like it. Now I can just shift it and put it here. Very simple. Now this particular image or the infographic can be downloaded. If I click on this download button, we can download this as a PNG and use into our PowerPoint presentation. So not only in napkin, but you can use in the PowerPoint presentation of Microsoft. In the Google presentation also you can pick up or any particular document you want, you can pick up. You can choose the color mode, whether you want in a light mode or a dark mode. You can choose whether you want a background or not. You can also choose the resolution which matches as per your comment. So it's a very simple, interesting tool. It's free in the beta version, so you can enjoy, use it, make your presentations much smarter and better. Again, we can click on this, click on generate visuals at the bottom and a very beautiful infographic would be generated. Now it is endless. You have plenty of different options which are available. Once you select any one option, let's say we select one option from here and we select the color. Now suppose you want to add some text over here. You can see there are four boxes. If you want to add one text, you just click on the plus sign. One extra text would be added at the top and the bottom. So you see when I click on this plus sign, here the element name I can change. I can double click and change the name of this particular element, which is possible. And I can write here, let's say Techno H. Okay, I can click outside. Same way, if I do not want this particular icon, I can just click on this minus button. And this particular box would be removed from here. So you just need to press it. So once it is done, you can modify, you can restructure anytime. Same way, if I go back here, in this place, if I want to add, I can just click on plus sign. If I want to add, I can just click on plus sign. So the element would be added either on the top or if I click on plus sign at the bottom. So you can choose as per your requirement, you can modify anything. The minus button also tells you that you can subtract or you can remove that particular option from here to make it more reasonable. So the options are you can change the color, the options are you can choose the background color and also you can modify any text or any icon on this place. The next part would be if you want to add some images, you can click at the bottom, you can bring any images which you have in your laptop. Let's say I bring some images from here. I'll pick up this particular image and I can put this image in a document on this place. So when I'm presenting this particular document, I can bring any PNG files, any JPEG files from the document and I can paste it here. Similarly, if I want to add some text on the screen, I can just put here, that's a label option. And I can put some label on the top, let's say Techno H Learning Services. Perfect. Similarly, if I want to highlight some text, so there's an option of sketch, you can select this option, you can highlight some text if you want, or you can just write something on that point here. So this way you can change the lining as well, you can modify this particular topic here. So this one option is for the sketch. However, there's another option which you can also modify. Let me just click on escape part. Suppose you have this option and you want to comment something. Now this particular napkin AI has been shared with many people. You can select this and on the right hand side, there's an option comment. Suppose you are sharing this document and you want to write it. Let's say Balu kindly check it. Okay. And you can just click on comment. So this comment will be sent to Balu and he'll be checking and giving the answer here. Same way you can select it. Again, click on comment and you can write here as let's say Peter kindly reach or you can kindly change this text. Finally, you are commenting, you are coordinating with people at the same time and making the boring presentation much better. However, if you want uh, to share the document, you can just click on share button and you can share this link with any person whom you want to share and they can see this. Okay, there are different options over here. You can view, comment, edit and edit share. These are permissions which you can give. However, some people want to download this as a PDF document. You can just click on download button and there are different options of downloading. A presentation format you can download, which is not a PPT, by the way, it's a PDF, but you'll have a 16 is to 9 ratio of the page, whereas a single continuous page, I can click on export. Once you click on export, this will be downloaded within few seconds in less than 60 seconds. And I can just click on this option. Now, this is how the PDF look like. And you can see if you show this to any person manager, they will be surprised the way you're presented and the way you're bringing the boring text into an interesting format. 
Now, this is a use of Napkin AI, a beautiful tool. So, people who do not have time, they struggle with presentations. You can use this Napkin AI. It's free right now and make your presentations much better. The other part also we have is a blank napkin. Now, suppose you already have some text. Okay, so you can just click on blank napkin and you can copy paste any text from Google or anywhere and you can just add it here. Same text also, you can create some presentations. For example, if I have some text on my screen, let me just copy some text. I can copy control C from the other screen and I can paste it here. So once I paste the option, I can now select this particular text, click on this icon, which is generate visual. And this will create the visuals for that particular selected text. Now you see, these are the options which are available and I can select and I can choose the color option as well. So when I scroll down again for the next one, I can pick up this, select this text over here. Again, click on napkin, generate visuals. And very simple and easy format, I can get the visuals over here. You can see. Now, to do the same thing, see, we can survive without this tool. We are still surviving without this tool. But if you are using this tool, you will save a lot of time in your company. And you will be more productive, more smarter as compared to previous one. And see, these are the options. You can change the color, options, and everything on this place. The last one, I can select this text over here. And I can click on this generate visuals. And finally, I have this particular visual. These are different beautiful options available here. And I can select. Now, once I finish, I can just click on this download. And I want this as a presentation mode. And I can click on export. 60 seconds, less than 60 seconds. And a PPT would be ready. And this is how the presentation will look like instead of presenting a boring text. So everyone, I hope you understood the topic of napkin. Easy, simple and beautiful to use it. Let me know in the comment box which particular tool are you using which is better than napkin AI or you think which tool can add a uh, benefit to other people who are watching this video. I hope you have understood. That's all for this video.